Assalamu alaikum. I'm uh, Omar Idris, co-founder of uh, the First Century of Business Hub, also a CEO of Limited Edition. Uh, actually, I'm starting out here to add more to what my colleague said. What is the First Century Entrepreneurs Hub? The First Century Entrepreneurs Hub is a platform created to bring about Sokoto State Entrepreneurs. Ariwa entrepreneurs, Nigerian entrepreneurs, African entrepreneurs, and global entrepreneurs under one umbrella. <laughs> While doing that, this platform is expected to connect with other you as an entrepreneur. When you are a member of the first century entrepreneurs, you connect with other entrepreneurs, advisors, consultants, mentors, guides. The platform is also one, it's also meant to help one to connect, collaborate, learn, seek advice, network with fellow members to bring us together like what we are trying to do here. Actually, thanks, uh, alhamdulillah, now we are trying to put it into innovation in 2017. Uh, actually, what we intend to do is, it's going to serve as an incubator. I don't know if you get what I mean by an incubator. All of us here are entrepreneurs. So we are trying to turn you all into eggs. An incubator is meant to hash eggs. So we are trying to hash you guys, uh, the entrepreneur, also to provide an actor, uh, a very attractive meeting point for startup communities. We are all startup communities here. Uh, this is uh, one of our mission. Okay, our mission to inspire, empower, and promote the new generation of young African entrepreneurs by providing a platform where they can come together under one umbrella, unveil their skills, and market their products to the public which will afterward help in providing development, thereby contributing to the national development at large. We all know that uh, Nigeria is in a recession. Well, alhamdulillah, uh, the last time I checked the news, they said we are reviving. And that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to play our own quarter. We all have a, we all have a tax to play in, bringing back Nigeria's economy to its foot. And that's what we are trying to do. Our goal, our goal is to build the next generation of young, Af young entrepreneurs in Africa and diaspora. We Africa and diaspora. We here, we are all in Africa. In diaspora, we have examples of people, uh, 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 young entrepreneurs who are in diaspora operating their businesses. I'll give you an example of Mamani uh, Nabakora. He's the CEO of uh, o and Foods. You see, he's an entrepreneur in diaspora. He's in America. And he has a business running here in Nigeria. So we have many more people like him out there. And he's part of us. So startups that will solve problems faced by the continent. What is our problem? Unemployment. Unemployment. When you ask me what is the model of all evil, I'll tell you it's unemployment. Because when you are employed, you are busy, you are thinking about your customers, you are thinking about how to improve in your services, you are thinking about how to become the next Nangoji, the next Polimelu, the next Matodela. You don't have time to commit yourself into crimes, into any other atrocities. So that's what we believe. Uh, what our problem, the problem faced in Africa in general is unemployment. And that is what we are trying to abolish, inshallah. Uh, inshallah, one of our goals uh, is uh, to create at least one million jobs by the year 2020. Inshallah. Our vision, our vision is to have various city hubs that conduct regular, sorry, that conduct regular meetings, presentations, collaboration, events, learning sessions. Uh, this is what we're trying to do. Actually, as the name implies, to a first-century entrepreneurs hub, we want to actualize a physical hub. Uh, a physical hub, inshallah, I'll reach that, I'll explain about the hub. Our objectives is to explain, is to establish a network of entrepreneurs committed in growing and scaling their businesses. I hope all of us here are committed entrepreneurs. For some of you feel me today because I said 10 o'clock and most of us were here after 11. So what we're talking about commitment, 
I, the next time we are holding a meeting like this or a seminar, I expect us to be on prompt. When we say 10 o'clock, I, 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 I wish uh, I will meet everybody standing by the door. Because that's what we call commitment. We don't have to, we have to wake up. No one sleep for us. When you go to sleep, what, wait until you reach, uh, you be like somebody like Tony or Lime Lu, you be like somebody like uh, Amorte, you be like somebody like Ojedala before you sleep on, in the morning. But right now, you don't have time to sleep. We have to be committed. Uh, we have to be committed. Okay. Uh, we have to be committed. First, we start by collecting a comprehensive database of committed startup entrepreneurs. We bring them together. What is under one umbrella? This is what we're trying to do. We are all startup entrepreneurs here. We are collecting your data. Uh, we have a, a list of over 150 entrepreneurs, startup entrepreneurs so right now. And we invited almost, I think we invited almost 50 people. Alhamdulillah, the, what we are seeing here is a development. Inshallah, I expect the next meeting we are having, this place is not going to take us out. Inshallah. Okay. Under one umbrella. Ad, um, advise them, cons uh, consult them, mentor them, and guide them. What I mean by advise them, we have uh, lecturers here in our midst who are professionals in entrepreneurship. Uh, in their job, uh, we are going to work with them to advise us. They will advise us, they will consult us, they will mentor us, and they will guide us on ways to go about our businesses. Uh, the next thing then, how to work together on innovative solutions for today's real world problem. Wow, today's real world problem. Our problem is unemployment. We're going back to that. Unemployment. What is our problem? Unemployment. What is Nigerian youth's problem? Unemployment. Graduate, graduating 10 years after graduation, no work. You understand? What is the major problem? Unemployment. Or well, by the time you become employed, you are busy, you are you are busy, you are giving back to the community. You, you are trying to solve that. These are the real world problems today. And the major one is unemployment. And that's what we are trying to do. Number two, we are trying to create an interactive community for exchange of ideas and information. Okay, this is a community of entrepreneurs. By coming together, we exchange ideas. We exchange ideas and information. Okay, you are a CEO of this, you are a CEO of this. You tell me your challenges, you tell me your success story, I'll tell you my own, you tell me mine. Uh, you look at the problems faced uh, in doing this business, the problem faced before starting this business. I will learn from you, you will learn from me. So that's what we are trying to do. By holding meetings, organizing seminars, workshops, both online and physical. Both online and physical. Actually right now we're doing a physical meeting. Okay, to encourage startups to embrace digital marketing, social media campaigns such as online advertisements on websites, Google, uh, websites, example, Google, Yahoo, o a AOL, Netherland, Junior, Conga, and social media campaigns such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You see, these are essential uh, tools for developing modern day businesses. Because uh, I'm Mr. A, you are Mr. B, we're into the same business. I'm selling textile, you are selling textile, you have a shop in Sokoto, you don't engage yourself in social media campaigns or digital marketing. Okay, you have a shop, you only sell to people in Sokoto. If you're lucky, people that come from Bosor or KB will come and patronize you. But me, I'm engaged in social media campaigns and digital marketing. I'm selling my products to the whole world. I mean, I'm I'm selling it to the whole world, not only people in Kaduna, Kano, Lagos, I'm selling it to the whole world because the social media is somewhere where you meet with people from the whole world. Once you go there and you post your adverts of whatever commodity you are selling, you, you give them your contact address, you will be at home sleeping and somebody will call you that I want, to, I want to buy this, how much is it, how can I get it, how can you send it to me? So this is what we are trying to, we are trying to promote. We want all of to embrace digital marketing and social media campaigns. Next, on our objectives is to partner with funding agencies to assist startup entrepreneurs. Startups looking for capital to start a new or a grown and already established company. We we'll work with funding agencies that focus on millions of dollars of funding to entrepreneurs and business and businesses in Africa and the world at large every year. This is, just listen to this very carefully. Every year, the problem is not many people about this. 
the funds will be grants, loans, or investments in their respective businesses or ideas. There are a lot of agencies out there. They are even looking for people like us who are ready to help ourselves, to give us this, this, this funds in grants or loans or investment in our respective businesses. So it's our duty to come out there, search for this uh, information, search for these people who are ready to give it out, who share it with our, net, with our community. These who are our community, the members of the first century entrepreneurs of, and the general public at large. Okay. Funding agencies such as Tony Olive New Foundation Entrepreneurship Program, which I come to like and we have in our base a beneficiary of that foundation. He's here with us. Please uh, Mr. Farouk Satam. He's the beneficiary of Tony Olive New Foundation. And inshallah now in October they will be going for their boot camp. And guess what he's going to get? They are going to give him ten thousand US dollars as time to see. He invest in his business. He has a farm, a tomato farm. Yesterday when Tony Olimelu came to Sokoto, he met with him in five star. When you check Tony Olimelu's handle on Twitter, you will see him with him. We are not here, he's from Sokoto. We are part of him. And our people, we don't know why we don't want to get engaged in such activities. We need to really start getting engaged. There are a lot of opportunities like this, but we are, are we afraid or scared to get involved in it. We are all capable. I was speaking to one of the 2017, uh, 2017, uh, She's a, she's a oh, oh, beneficiary of Yali. Uh, they are sponsored for, by US Embassy to go to America. But there are various organizations. She was telling me how, how angry she is with our people. They have 64,000 applicants, which out of 64,000 applicants from Africa, we have 21,000 African applicants from uh, Nigeria. Out of 21,000 applicants, we have they only select. They only selected 101. Out of 101, what she's telling me is she's very angry that only she came from Sokotoke is on Para, and only one person from uh, Kano and one person from Kazena. This is the uh, this is Ariba we're talking about. The rest of the 99, uh, okay, 98 applicants are all from the other parts of Nigeria. It's not that we cannot do. We have a lot of organizations here that can participate there. But why? We are, are we afraid of getting involved in all these kind of issues or what? But well, this is what we are trying to do at 21st Century Entrepreneurs. We are trying to pass the information to our members and the public at large, inshallah. We have uh, African Develop African Women's Development Fund. We have Sister Africa. We have U in Connect. Let me just take a moment to explain about U in Connect. U in Connect is ongoing. It's ongoing. It's a federal government initiative that gives a grant of 10 million naira. 10 million naira. Every one of you here can be a beneficiary of this. Every one of you can be a beneficiary of UWIN. As long as you have a good business plan, you just go online, uwinconnect.org.ng. Register your business and apply for it. Inshallah, if you have a very good business plan, they will call you. They will call you, you go there to Abuja, you defend your business plan, and they will give you 10 million naira to start a business. Why are we afraid of all this? Please, I just want to ask this question. How many of us in this room have applied for you? It's ongoing. How many of us? Please, I just want you to raise your hand. How many of us? This is very poor. This is, this is very poor. It's very poor. I'm sure if you have a degree, Diploma, HCE, you are entitled to this. If you don't have any of this, you are not entitled to this. But if you have a degree, a diploma, or an HCE, you are entitled to this. So what are we waiting for? Just go online, pick up your phone, and dial, uh, just just type in uwinconnect.org.ng. You apply for this. 10 million naira is waiting for you out there. What are we waiting for? I was speaking to a friend of mine day before yesterday. He's an evil guy from evil state. He lives in Abuja, he studied here with us in Nopolio. What he said is, uh, my guy, I'm going to register you in under Sokoto State. Because I know you guys are not going to fill up your quota. Is this not shameful? He knows we are not going, and this is what is happening. This thing has been going on since uh, early 2000. Early 2000. And do you know how many beneficiaries we have in Sokoto? Only 12. 
We have a state in Nigeria who has over 300 beneficiaries. And we have only 12 in Sokoto. 12. And we come down here and say the government is not doing this, the government blood, the government blood, and we are not helping ourselves. We just sit down on that tree and, and talk about this body, talk about this person, talk about this person, uh, 9 to 4, and we all go home. And we, later on, we start abusing the government. Why? Are we helping ourselves? We are not helping ourselves. This is what we supposed to go online, search for foundations like this that are ready to assist you to be rooted. Once you have the idea, this, they are all out there for you to grab. So I advise all of us here to pick up our phone, stop wasting our time on Facebook, chatting and uh, gisting and talking about politics, which is not going to help us. Just start building yourself right from now. Start building yourself. And this is an opportunity and it's ongoing. Just go online, check it, uh, check, just go to Google, you will connect. If you don't, just go to Google, you will, see, you will connect. And it will give you all the details you need to register. Please and please and please, I'm begging you. When you get 10 million naira, you're not going to give me even one naira in that money. You're going to invest it in yourself. And at least, you will is not going to give you any money or any, unless you have a proposal that at least you are going to employ up to 10 10 people under you. Is that in development? Okay. We have a network of right now over 120 something people under the 21st century. Okay. When we check, we have one in our midst, an editor of furniture. He's an entrepreneur and a mentor to us. He has over 50 people working under him. Is that in development? We have in our midst, okay. He's an entrepreneur, he, he has a school, uh, he has a school, he has over 180 people working under him. Is that not a development? Okay, my small business, uh, limited edition, I have over five people working under me. I want to try my own quota to, to, to eradicate unemployment. We all have access to do that. We can all do that. Please, and please, and please, if you say funds is your problem, here's an opportunity. If you're talking about capital, here's an opportunity. Just try it, please. Try it. Uh, just try it. Okay. We have our African Development Foundation. We have African Development Bank. We have Bank of Industry. We have Investment AD. Kennedy is a Swedish company. We have other companies who have grants, loans, and foundations to assist startups. Please, let's get involved. Our next is uh, the next uh, number five on our objective is to create a comfortable environment for startup owners. To, um, for poten and potential investors to interact. What I mean by startup owners and potential investors. Uh, by the time we actualize uh, the hub, co-working space, which I'm going to talk about now, uh, we, we give them a, a very comfortable environment to interact. This is, this is an example of a hub. Well, this is a mini hub. It was invented by, uh, yeah, that's why it's called the American Panel. It was invented by the US Embassy and the Nigerian government. It's a hub. This is how this is what a hub looks like. But what we are trying to do is a big one. A co-working hub. A, a hub, co-working space. Provides an infrastructure of a new growing workspace of people who work where, when, why, and how they want. The hub provides all the amenities of the convenience and of the of the conventional office space, including desks, offices, and meeting rooms, Wi-Fi and printer. As, as well as the sorry, as well as the unconventional features that makes coming to work for two for seven access. Every member has two for seven access to their own key for work when and how they want. As a member of the century interpreters, inshallah, by the time we actualize our hub, you have two for seven access to come to that hub. You walk, uh, you walk and do whatever you want there. Two for seven. Affordable and flexible workspace. All members will have access to all inclusive tools from traditional decks, standard decks, collaboration table, and lounge areas to work. When I say lounge areas, it's going to look like just your living room. Living room, your panel, when you have a five seater, you just sit down, you lie down, you walk. You understand? We, what we believe is that every entrepreneur is always on the move. When you are even lying down, you're on your phone, checking about your business contacts, what is your to-do list today, what are you going to do tomorrow? At, uh, at our hub, we have our areas for that. Okay. 
Uh, we have fully advanced Wi-Fi, blazing Wi-Fi that will uh, generously support by IT decision, private offices, and dedicated desks have the option to have hardware or even better performance. Meeting space and conference rooms. Meeting space and conference rooms. Something like this. This is a, this is a conference. This is a meeting space. We, have, we all have that in the in the hall. All members will have free access to two conference rooms and two conference conference rooms. And I encourage to use the greater open space for events, classes, uh, and workshops. Free stops. We we'll have free coffee. Yeah, free coffee. We know we all like freebies. So free coffee. Uh, coffee break, stand, station, office supplies, and music. Yeah, we all like playing music. So, okay, storage. Lockers will be available for members who wants to leave their files, laptops, or gears, etc. Lockers are additional. So this is uh, what the first century is all about. And I hope uh, I've explained all, or I've explained to you what the first century entrepreneurs hub is all about. I hope you like. Thank you very much, Pilot um, Barbarogi. And uh, my next agenda is. Uh